Hey everybody, this video brings us out to Pottstown, Pennsylvania. Well, actually, maybe we're in Potts Grove, Pennsylvania. I think this might be one of those situations where we're technically in Potts Grove, but the address is Pottstown. I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong. By all means, if you're from the area, let me know where we are today in this video. I'm gonna go with Potts Grove because right behind us is actually the Potts Grove High School. But the reason why we're out here today is to check out this old shopping center where now there's just one little lonely Planet Fitness, that is it. And the reason why we're out here today is because in yesterday's video, where we went to the abandoned Kmart, it got me thinking about other old department stores that no longer exist and how many of the actual structures for those department stores might still be around. And I'm thinking inside the shopping center is an actual structure for an old department store that I used to go to when I was a kid. However, I could be completely wrong about that. The more I'm looking at this store, the more I'm thinking, wait, was this what I think it was or, or am I going nuts? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna need you guys to help me out with today's video. If you're from the Pottstown, Pottsgrove, Pennsylvania area, and you might know about this, I'm gonna need your help. I'm gonna have to have you guys do some research for me. I try looking up information on this, could not find anything. So I could be wrong. So I'll, by all means, leave the comments down below for this video. But again, we're here in the shopping center. Unfortunately, the actual signs say nothing, just Planet Fitness. Sometimes when a shopping center goes goes defunct or they, they close on a store, they'll just take the old sign and sort of flip it backwards and you can read the actual logo. It's just backwards on the on the marquee. In this case, all you can see is Planet Fitness. The other, the other, the other marquee signs are just white plastic. That is it. So the reason why I wanted to bring you guys out here today is to take a look at this store right here in front of us. A store that I could swear when I was a kid, it used to be in Ames, but I might be 100% wrong about that. I'm not entirely sure. In my brain, I'm thinking, yes, this was definitely an Ames when I was a kid. I remember coming out here and doing shopping at this Ames. Who remembers the department store Ames? If you do, leave a comment down below. Very similar to Kmart. They actually were, were extremely similar. If you've been to a Kmart, you've pretty much been to an Ames. And if you've been to an Ames, then you've pretty much been to a Kmart. They were one, kind of one of the same, completely different department stores, but they had a very similar sort of feel, sort of design, sort of look to them. They had a very, very similar thing kind of going on. And I do believe as of 2002, 2002, I think the Ames franchise went completely bankrupt. And the last doors were actually closed in 2002. But I could swear this right here used to be an Ames department store. But I might be 100% wrong about that. My mom actually grew up in this area. She went to the Potts Grove High School. I believe she graduated in 1977, the year Elvis died, the year punk rock began. Rock and roll died, punk rock began in 77. That's when she graduated. And I called her and I asked her about this and tried to maybe get some information from her. I said, was, it, was this an Ames? And she says that she remembers in the mid seventies, a grocery store actually opened up in here and that all the kids wanted to work in here because I guess they gave good wages and whatnot. So apparently in the mid seventies, this was a grocery store. She could not remember what exactly, what, what brand it was, what actual grocery store it was. But apparently at one point, this was a grocery store. But again, that was back in the mid 70s and she could not remember what it was after that so i don't know i could be wrong i actually drove around back i looked through the windows i tried to find some information i tried to see if there was any old signage anywhere maybe an old shopping cart lying around or something that said what this used to be i was hoping for like an ames shopping cart maybe decrepit and, and rusted out and and faded out back or maybe a, a sign on the loading dock that said ames department store or just whatever this used to be but i could not find any information whatsoever. Try looking inside the windows and the whole thing has been completely gutted. There's no signage inside whatsoever. I was hoping maybe on the wall, it would say Ames or just some something, anything at all as a bit of a clue as to what this used to be. But again, the whole thing has just been completely gutted. I don't know if you guys are even gonna be able to see inside here, probably not. Again, the whole place is gutted. You cannot really see. There's like two lonely little lights inside there. That is it. It's double pane, double paned glass. So it's very hard to look through because both sides are very, very dirty. And again, it's very dark inside there. There's only like two or three lights on inside the whole entire structure inside there. Unfortunately, we cannot get in 
It is all boarded up, locked up. But I could swear, as a kid, I remember coming out here and going to Ames. But I could be completely wrong about that. I am turning 41 years old this year. My brain is not quite what it used to be. I, I swear sometimes I just, I make things up. I think to myself, yeah, this was an Ames. I used to come out to this Ames all the time, only to find out that that's not what it ever was. So that was my whole plan for today's video, was to come out here, talk to you guys about Ames, talk to you about the old Ames that used to be here, show you this. I was hoping for some old signage, something like an old shopping cart, maybe a, a corral, a shopping cart corral or something like that, that, that gave away what this used to be, maybe some signage inside, but there is nothing here. This whole place has been completely gutted. I think the whole idea is they're gonna renovate this area. There's gonna kind of Planet Fitness over there. There's other storefronts over there where there's nothing inside them at the moment, but they've been gutted as well. This whole area here, the whole parking lot has been redone. There's a big blank spot over there for like a bank or something to be built or a, I don't know, some kind of like fast food joint or something to be built over there. So I guess they have plans to develop this whole entire shopping center. And I guess at one point they want something to move in to this structure right here. But what did this structure used to be? Was it an Ames? Am I correct in remembering this as an Ames department store or am I going completely crazy? Leave the comments down below. If you're from the Pottstown, Pottsgrove, Pennsylvania area, let me know. There is Charlotte Street right there. I believe this is called School Lane. This road right here does go down to the Pottsgrove High School. There's the, there's the baseball field. So School Lane, Charlotte Road, department store here. My mom was actually saying she remembers when she was a little kid, this is also a Rickles over where the Planet Fitness is. So apparently it used to be a Rickles department store and a grocery store when she was a kid. And then maybe a Rickles and an Ames. I have no idea. So maybe two defunct stores. So I think Rickles, Rickles isn't a thing anymore, right? Rickles was kind of like a, a home improvement store, kind of like Ace or Home, or home Depot or Lowe's. I don't think Rickles exists anymore. I think they went out of business as well. So who knows? Maybe at one point a Rickles and and Ames used to be here, two defunct department stores that no longer exist. Or again, maybe I'm crazy. Leave the comments down below. I know a lot of you watching are probably from the Pottstown, Pottsgrove, Pennsylvania area, and you guys can chime in and leave a comment. That's what I love about doing these videos is that sometimes I don't have all the information. I try to look up information. I try to do my research. I go online. I look things up. I try to, find out, try to find out information that I want to deliver to you guys, but sometimes I either can't find the information or my information's wrong. Or sometimes like today, I just don't have the information at all. I'm just going off a possible memory from my childhood that could be skewed. It could be wrong. So I need you guys to chime in down below. I love bringing you guys into these videos and getting knowledge from you as well. I try to give you knowledge, but I love when you give me knowledge. So what did this store used to be? If you remember, leave a comment. Was it an Ames department store? Look at the old like stucco up there. That's interesting. So as you can see, it's a cinder block store, but there's actually plywood out front. That is, that is definitely just plywood with stucco on it. And you can see there was some old signage up here at one point. If it's been completely removed, who knows what it used to say. I'm thinking also maybe there was an old like awning out here. You can see there's a stretch of this whole like line going across the store right there. I want to say maybe at one point that was an awning that came out. Maybe maybe where the uh, the, the candy machines and the soda machines and maybe the, the the rides for kiddies where you put a quarter in and ride the you know the the horsey or the merry-go-round used to sit. Probably some cart corrals here. That's what I'm thinking. Again, I could be wrong about this, but I'm thinking this was an old Ames store. Like I said, yesterday's video got me thinking about other defunct department stores that I used to shop at, Ames and James Way. Maybe this was a James Way. Maybe that's what this was. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it wasn't an Ames. Maybe this was an old, an old James Way. That could be a, that could be a very distinct possibility. That that's what this used to be. Or maybe it was some other department store that I'm, I'm completely forgetting about. I'm not entirely sure. But anyway, yesterday's video got me thinking about defunct department stores and the ones that used to be around here and the ones that might still actually have structures that are still around that still kind of resemble what they used to be that haven't been completely renovated. Now, as you can see, even though this has been gutted, even though one side of the shopping center has been renovated, even though the parking lot has been renovated and changed, this actual structure right here still looks like whatever it was back when it closed down. They have not renovated the outside of this structure that I think at one point 
may have been in Ames, but there's nothing left to tell me. Nothing out back. No signage. No carts. No cart corrals. Nothing inside. No, no signs on the marquee. Nothing. Nothing in the state. What this once was. So I want you guys to leave, to leave comments down below. If you know what this was, if you're, again, if you're from the Pottstown, Pottsgrove, Pennsylvania area, and you can remember what this was. Again, my mom said when she was in the 70s, it was a grocery store, and that next to it, where the Planet Fitness was, was a Rickles. But what did it become after that? What was it after the grocery store? Was this always a grocery store? Maybe, maybe what I'm thinking is this was in Ames, but maybe I used to come out here with my grandmother, because my grandmother lived in the area, so maybe I used to come out here and do shopping with her. Maybe this was a shop right or something. Maybe I actually shopped with my grandmother here. Maybe that's what I'm thinking. Maybe I'm thinking about how this used to be a grocery store. Again, I don't know. Comments down below. I need your help on this one. I need you guys from the area with your knowledge of what this used to be. I need you to chime in down below and clue me in. And if this wasn't a Ames, if this was something else, if this was a completely different store, then was there an Ames in the area? Or a, or a James Way? Or something like that? Because maybe I'm Maybe this was another store I went to as a kid. And I'm thinking Ames, but maybe the Ames was down the street or maybe in a different shopping center or maybe it was somewhere else in the area. And I'm getting, the, I'm getting the two confused and mixed up in my head. I don't know. But anyway, guys, like I said, leave the comments down below. Clue me in. Let me know if you know. I would love to get you guys help and information on this. As you see, there's again, there's now Planet Fitness over there. All these stores over here have been gutted as well. I'm guessing they're hoping somebody eventually moves in there and then maybe they'll renovate this as well and who knows put something in here all right guys so that's it for this video who remembers Ames if you do leave a comment down below like I said Ames very similar to Kmart if you've never been to an Ames but you've been to a Kmart and you've pretty much been to an Ames had a very similar store I remember the old tile flooring the, the garbage neon lighting they all had that similar sort of smell I don't know I don't know what that smell was but Kmart and Ames they had this this smell to them. And it wasn't a bad smell. It was an interesting smell. It wasn't a bad smell, but it was a smell I kind of miss. I don't know how to explain it. If you guys know what I'm talking about, if you're like, yeah, I remember the old Kmart, the old Ames smell. If you remember that, comments down below. I want to hear your stories on Ames, James Way. I want to hear your stories on Kmart's, but definitely Ames. Let me, let me hear your stories on Ames. I remember going to one in Rehoboth Beach, Delaware when I was a kid all the time. There was no Target down there. There was no Walmart down there. There wasn't even a Kmart down there when I was a kid. They actually ended up building a Kmart. That was like the, the, that, the Kmart actually like put the Ames out of business, which is kind of, kind of weird to think about nowadays. A Kmart putting another department store out of business in a town, which is kind of weird. But there used to be an Ames down there. We used to go shop at all the time until they built the Kmart. And then we used to go to the Kmart all the time. And then they built, and then they finally built a Walmart and the Walmart killed both of them off. The Ames actually stuck around for a little while, probably until the maybe late 90s, early 2000s. The Kmart stuck around only until a couple of years ago. They were one of the last stores in like the, on the East Coast actually closed down. They were open for a while, but the Walmart completely destroyed both of them. But anyway, guys, all right, so that's it. Enough about department, department stores. You guys let me know, what did this used to be? Clue me in, am I going crazy? Is my brain just mixing up memories that I had as a kid is taking a bunch of memories and, and mushing them all together and making me think this was an Ames, but in reality, it was something completely different. Maybe there wasn't even an Ames in this area. I don't know. All right, guys, like I said, leave the comments down below. Clue me in. Give me some knowledge today. All right, guys, so as always, thank you all so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, check down below for links to Patreon. If you guys do become a patron, I will send you a postcard every single month from the road. Also check down below for a link to Spreadshirt where you can grab yourself retro rest up t-shirts, proceeds, both from Spreadshirt and from Patreon. Do get help supporting the show and keeping the show going. I really do appreciate you guys watching and I appreciate the comments. I love when you guys leave comments. Comments are very, very important, especially in these videos because I want your knowledge. I want you to give everybody else your knowledge. Anytime you guys have any information on anything I'm talking about at all, by all means, correct me in these videos. If I say anything wrong ever, I love when you guys leave comments, especially the ones that help with the actual story that's being told in these videos. So, all right, guys, and that's it. Possibly from the Ames, maybe here in the Pottstown, Pottsgrove, Pennsylvania area, or whatever this store used to be. All right, so I guess I hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. If you do hit that subscribe button or you are subscribed, then I will see you in tomorrow's video. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. Bye.